In the mid-20th century, lobotomies were hailed as a miracle cure for mental illness, a way to fix troubled minds. The procedure involved severing connections in the brain's frontal lobes, often using an ice pick-like instrument inserted through the eye socket. Portuguese neurologist Antonio Igas Moniz introduced it in 1935 and won a Nobel Prize for it in 1949, but in the U.S. Dr. Walter Freeman took it to horrifying extremes, performing thousands, sometimes in his office, sometimes in public demonstrations, even on children as young as 12. By the 1950s, the truth was undeniable. Patients were left emotionless, disabled, or worse. As psychiatric drugs emerged, lobotomies faded into history, a grim reminder of how far medicine once went in the name of healing the mind.